Hey racers, John Racy3 here today for the fourth and final installment of the Star Wars Battle Series. Um, tomorrow there will be a big tournament for you guys. I thought I'd just tell you so you guys can get hyped for that when the actual movie comes out. Don't worry, there will be no spoilers in that movie, what's, or not movie video whatsoever from the movie because I hadn't, I will not have seen it by the time I have film the video so no need to worry about that you won't have to worry about any spoilers just thought I'd have to say that so let's get on to today's battle and final battle we have first off Luke Skywalker for the good side now this Luke Skywalker car I don't know why it has the Last Jedi branding on it I guess it doesn't have the Last Jedi branding on it but it's the same packaging from the Last Jedi branded cars we have Luke Skywalker in his X-Wing like uniform and I don't have one of these cars, but I really, really like the design of this car. I wish there was a car in real life that had the same design. I really enjoy it. As you can see, we have the little Rebellion logo on the top of it, acting like on the top of his helmet. And the top of the car actually um, has the same design as he did uh, on, on the top of his helmet in the fourth movie. Or the fourth episode of Star Wars. Not the fourth movie, I apologize. Now, his arrival is going to be... A stormtrooper, not just any stormtrooper. This is the first order executioner. It's it's the executioner is a little different from the um, regular stormtrooper because it has that black stripe right there. Um, as I can pull out a little sheet that it comes with because it comes out with comes the car comes with a little sheet that has every single car on it. The executioner has a stripe on it, as you can see there, when uh, the regular stormtrooper doesn't. So. There you go, the more you know. Um, I really like the design of this car. It's not as like firm as the regular Stormtrooper is. Um, I actually have a Stormtrooper car that I can compare it to. Because um, the First Order Stormtrooper I think looks way better than the normal ones. Uh, here's the um, regular Stormtrooper car, so for comparison. I feel like the First Order Stormtrooper looks so much cooler, but you can see the similarities that the cars have. Just find that super sick. So, we got a Stormtrooper versus Luke Skywalker. This is going to be a good battle. So, you guys should know the rules by now. Um, this is the fourth day of the Star Wars week, so the cars will collide. But if the car lands on its wheels, it will receive one point. If the car, both cars land on their wheels, both cars will receive one point. If they land on their roofs, they will receive zero points. If one car beats another car just in here and they don't collide, whatever car finishes first will get a point. Sound easy? Let's race. All right. Luke Skywalker vs. Stormtrooper, a classic rivalry. Three, two, one. Look at that wreck! The Stormtrooper takes out Luke Skywalker and lands on its wheels. One point for Stormtrooper. Alright, Stormtrooper's got one win, Luke has zero. Three, two, one. Look at that! Luke fights back with one win and just shuts down the Stormtrooper. Each car has one point. Three, two, one. Luke fights back again with two wins and the Stormtrooper is getting shut down. Luke has two wins, Stormtrooper has one. Three, two, one. Just like that, the Stormtrooper rebels and gets one point, so now they're tied at two. They're both at two points. Whoever wins this will move on. Unless it's a tie, then we have something special planned. Three, two, one. The Stormtrooper destroys Luke Skywalker in a final attempt to do something for the First Order. What a comeback! Stormtrooper takes a win for the First Order, but then again we have three of the Resistance fighters against him. I guess there's only one thing we gotta do here. Alright, let's see if Finn can take him down. Three, two, one. He can't! Finn cannot! The Executioner destroys Finn. How about the little mighty droid BB-8? Can he beat the Executioner? Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh. 
He can! He destroys the Executioner who flips on his roof and BB-8 takes it for the rebellion. Moral of the story, the First Order beats Luke Skywalker. He can beat Finn, but he cannot beat the droid that has no weapon systems whatsoever. Thank you guys for watching. Tomorrow's video is going to be insane. I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you then. See you racers later. Peace!